Edward Snowden jumps from communist country to communist country. Now, Snowden made his great escape from Hong Kong to Russia, and now he's MIA after failing to show up for his connecting flight to Cuba. The chase is becoming an embarrassment for the Obama administration. Now, Ed Henry raised that point with Jay Carney earlier today. The administration was obviously embarrassed when he had a 29-year-old uh, person and his contractor just leak all these documents in the first place. Is the administration embarrassed now that you can't track him down, that he's uh, this cat and mouse game that's going on for all the world to see? I think I've been very uh, clear about uh, the actions we've taken and the uh, uh, our assessment of the failure of authorities in Hong Kong uh, to act uh, appropriately on a provisional arrest. We have known where he is and uh, believe we know where he is now, and, and uh, there are ongoing conversations about that. Uh, you know, beyond that, we'll have to assess as, as uh, time passes. My day tonight. Oh. So where's the president in all this? Um, here are his law professor-ish comments from this afternoon. You know, what we know is, is that uh, we're following all the appropriate legal channels uh, and working with uh, various other countries to make sure that uh, rule of law is observed. And beyond that, I'll refer to the Justice Department that has been actively involved in, in, in the case. All right, so was that a sufficient explanation, Bowling? Um, so let's talk about Jay Carney for a second. The administration is outraged that this could be happening, that, that, that Ed Snowden could actually do something that was um, interpreted as illegal, maybe unethical, who knows. Um, and then President Obama says we have to make sure we abide by the rule of law. Well, the reason why Ed Snowden did what he did is because you weren't abiding by the rule of law, Mr. President. You were violating the Fourth Amendment. You were going after Americans without... Uh, proper rule of law behind you. Constitution clearly says you have to have probable cause. There's no probable cause for most of the stuff you're doing. Look, Ed Snowden, good guy or bad guy, is certainly losing friends by doing what he's doing by hanging out with the communists. However, did he do something wrong? Probably. Did the government do something wrong? Definitely. Hmm. Comes down to a well, probably good. and a definitely, Greg. I am thoroughly confused by what you just said, but that's okay. Uh, here's my We've feeling. got an hour to explain yeah, we get, we, um, <laughs> you know what? You know what uh, uh, Putin right now, you got to be worried when your adversaries are so happy. When you have China laughing at you, when you have Russia laughing at you, Putin just didn't eat our lunch. He ate Obama's dog. I mean, he <laughs> is dying over this. We look like fools. I want to tell you where, what uh, um, Snowden really is. He reminds me of the daughter in the movie Cape Fear. Unhappy with her family, unhappy with her home life, she runs into the arms of an abusive stranger, i.e. Max Cady. That's what's happening right now. He is in the arms of people who are taking great pleasure in our national security falling apart. What disgusts me more than anything is that although he was once seen as a hero, not so much, he is now a pawn. He's a pawn used by our adversaries to hurt our country. And now even the right wing of America are pawns because they decided to go for that brass ring of, of going after Obama and sacrificing the moral authority of national security just so, that, just so they can get something on Obama. And that is really disgusting what, to what's me. The, what's the moral authority of national security? First of all, let me just say something. Well, I, all this talk, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Because all this talk about him going to a communist country, to a communist country, <laughs> to a communist country. You know something? They say the Chinese probably debriefed him on everything, and the Russians had more to debrief. There's nothing to debrief on. I was in this business when I was in the White House. There are House. thousands of pages that are missing, are Bob. Right. But, the, but yeah. every, if there's not an intelligence committee in the world that doesn't understand what the NSA does, all right, and there's no big secret. Excuse me, I don't have a chance to finish my comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Casey, it's your new. Go ahead. No. Well, the truth is, is that it's not a secret that every country is spying on every single country, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean all the countries, especially the communist ones, don't have all the details. And Snowden is traveling around with his laptop, four hard drives. But I think this goes back to, remember President Obama saying he would give the Russians some flexibility? And when that got transmitted to Vladimir, that didn't come as flexibility, good, we can work together. It came as good. This is an opportunity because they're weak. This, this gives us an opportunity for more power in the world and an opportunity to work with people like China and Cuba against the United and States. And, Bob, you're usually critical of that situation of China and spying on I us, can't stand so. the Chinese. Uh, so how does exist. this sit well with you? But this, here's the what? point. Here's the point. The uh, first of all, what he's got on his hard drive, and what any well, you could get, you could get it all out of me. The only question about what he's going to compromise is maybe some of the locations of the NSA intercept areas. That's all he's got. I mean, the idea what he what he what he, what he does have is moral standing on defending the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. I, I think I, I agree with Eric now. I think he probably ought to come back 
I think you ought to, you know, stand up to the thing. Maybe he'll end up going to jail, but the government will be exposed for what it is, which is a, is invading our privacy to the worst degree. And, Bowling, and, quick I, comment, I, and then I, Rand Paul. I, yeah, I know. Let's we we'll get to Rand in a second, but Craig, I got to tell you, it's, the, the right wing didn't go after President Obama over this. They went after the NSA for doing what they're doing. It just so happens that pres under President Obama, the NSA expanded their reach when it under was under Bush. When, well, it started under Bush, but when it became President Obama's, they went from going after foreign intelligence surveillance into let's just blanket cover a whole area of, of the country and figure out, see if we can find some stuff. And, and, and we don't know Bush. what they're going to do with all the information that, that they're sitting on. Well, that, Obama said he was going to change. Obama said he wasn't going to be the guy that surveilled uh, Americans. He was going to shut this program down. He wasn't for the, the warrantless surveillance of anyone. And so... If, that's where the hypocrisy comes in. He said he was going to change it. That's the no point. Chance, but uh, I think, again, we are confusing two programs here. One of them is PRISM. Anybody who believes PRISM is a violation of the Fourth Amendment is an idiot. There is no Fourth Amendment for foreigners. Me, there is no idiot. Fourth Amendment for foreigners. We can look at their stuff. It's called spying. If you're against spying on foreigners, I'm get not, rid of all, the I'm entire not, James I'm Bond. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm <laughs> against. Hold on. Bond I'm Bond. against using PRISM to spy on Americans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, but that hasn't happened. I want to get you in on Rand Paul. Bob. I don't care about Rand Paul. I, listen, <laughs> here's the point. The prism thing, it used to be that we were spying on foreigners. Right. That's what the NSA was about. Right. But then when they expanded under George Bush to get these telephone companies to give them all these trunk lines they could tap into, it went to all Americans, two and that's things. a violation of the two Fourth Amendment. Things. Two separate things. Okay, we can two talk, separate things. But we so. can talk about uh, uh, the uh, the phone records thing as a lockbox right. in which no one's able to look in, mm -hmm. but you're confusing that with prism right now. Okay, oh, well, sorry. we're, we're okay. going to take a momentary break on that, and we're going to take a listen to a bit of sound we have here. This is Rand Paul on Snowden. I do think that when history looks at this, they're going to contrast the behavior of James Clapper, our national intelligence director, with Edward Snowden. Mr. Clapper lied in Congress in defiance of the law in the name of security. Mr. Snowden told the truth in the name of privacy. For Mr. Snowden, if he cozies up to the Russian government or any of these governments that are perceived still as enemies of ours, I think that uh, that'll be a real problem for him in history. Okay. I think that's a great point. I think yeah. he sums it up well. Absolutely. Sums it up perfectly. Um, I, I will tell you, I've stayed in contact with um, Ed Snowden's father, Lon Snowden, and he pointed that out very, very specifically from day one, and I've talked to him countlessly, hundreds, tens of times. And the issue was that he feels that Ed was too afraid to go up the chain of command when the top of the ladder at the NSA, James Clapper, was willing to lie to Congress saying, no, we're not doing any of these things, when it turns out, in fact, he knew they were doing those things. So he so that's why he, he chose that path. go that direction. That's that why he enough, did Is that a good enough Whether excuse? or not he's, he's broken the law. the law, hold on. He should, he, if he broke the law... He should serve time. Everyone agrees with that. There's no question about that. And, and, and I can understand why he would have this fear of going up his chain of command when you have these people willing to lie in front of Congress. And considering the Obama administration has a very long history of retaliating against whistleblowers, both good and bad, um, it makes sense. But he ruins his credibility because at the beginning when this happened, he came out and said, I specifically released documents surrounding the civil liberties of Americans. Mm -hmm. I don't have an interest in putting countries against each other. And now he's cozying up to communist countries he's, and he's giving the you don't think that the Russians are sitting him down and saying you want to get out of the country show us your four the, the Russians know drive. more about what we're doing than, than Snowden does number one number flying two if you're right trying to get now. out of yeah. the, out of the grip Greg. of the of the, of the Justice Department of course you're going to go to Russia and you're going to go to Cuba you're going to go to places uh, they don't uh, like uh, you so uh, what Greg's waving this, to people <laughs> he better get him back involved he's like looking out the window this, this plays into a the, what I call the David and Goliath Kabuki theater uh, people instinctually root for the little guy David against Goliath. The problem with this Goliath, the United States, it's the greatest country that ever was. We are not like the Goliaths of China mm -hmm. or Venezuela or Russia. We actually do good things. The people that are coming after us now, the people, the bad crowd that, that this guy, this guy is hanging out with, Putin, oh, they can't show it because th this is happening because it's hurting us. Mm -hmm. It's not helping us. Um, we are throwing out the idea of good and evil and replacing it with big and little. Yeah. The little guy versus the big guy. However, the little guy is scum. 
Ecuador is a socialist problem, pocket of idiocy. But the problem but no is he's one, losing but, his but, credibility. But, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're he, 100% right. He wants to be someone that stands for, okay, yes. I'm against yes. the government spying yes. on Americans and, 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 and get, jumping into our privacy, you know, doing God knows what yes. with his information, then come back and face as, the music and deal with right. it that as, way. As his father said from the very get-go, he said, yep. come on back, face, face your accusers, do it the right way. But, Greg, no one's saying America's not great. We're saying we don't want, or I'm saying, we don't want to become like a communist China right. or an Iran. Right. But or so, where, where, where the freedom of the, for, where your rights, your individual rights, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, right. the Fourth Amendment, are protected. Yeah, I just disagree violating. with you on the, vi we've gone to, God, we've gone over this, Eric. Right. Yes, no, I, I disagree with you on the Fourth Amendment. Shut up. Shut up. Let me know. just say this way. I agree, by the way. I don't think he's helping his credibility going to Russia and God knows going to China. Nobody ought to go to China. We just, nobody should go there. Right. But wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So I think he ought to come back, he ought to face the music, but I think you're going to find a groundswell of people in this country who are going to support him then and he say, the vote. NSA, you tell us what you're really doing, then maybe we'll worry That's about okay. stuff. He, is the, he will be the messiah to a lot of people when he comes. He certainly will be. It's, and, and so why, Not if he stays away. Not if he stays away. Let's listen to this bit of sound. This is Glenn Greenwald and David Gregory. Ooh. To the extent that you have aided and abetted Snowden, even in his current movements. Why shouldn't you, Mr. Greenwald, be charged with a crime? I think it's pretty extraordinary that anybody who would call themselves a journalist would publicly muse about whether or not other journalists should be charged with felonies. The assumption in your question, David, is completely without evidence, the idea that I've aided and abetted him in any way. The scandal that arose in Washington before our stories began was about the fact that the Obama administration is trying to criminalize investigative journalism. If you want to embrace that theory, it means that every investigative journalist in the United States who works with their sources, who receives classified information, is a criminal. This guy is exactly right. I don't know where Gregory's coming off doing this. The fact of the matter is, if you want to be an investigator, it was like the it was like the Pentagon Papers. If the New York Times hadn't published them, we wouldn't have known that it, what was illegal about the Vietnam War. But listen, this guy Gregory to ask that question is just a hypocrite, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, I, I've been after Gregory since since yesterday afternoon when he said it. it's it's absolutely insane. Glenn Greenwald, look, like him or not like him, he has a right to. He, we need more Glenn Greenwalds. That's Damn what right. we need. We don't need fewer of them. We don't need people who want to be a Glenn, Glenn Greenwald to say, "Hey, I'm worried about this because I'll get attacked by the president. I'll get attacked by the media, the the mainstream media, who's who's basically carrying what." Bottom line. David Gregory is carrying water for the Obama, Obama administration by asking that question. Okay. Katie? I think this is a pot meat kettle moment for David Gregory. Does anyone remember when he held up the 30 Done. round magazine yes. in Washington, D.C., which is illegal, committing a crime in the NBC studio in Washington, D.C., and yet he's trying to tell this guy that he's aiding and abetting someone who's just been charged with espionage? With everything going on lately, that's not the position he should be taking. Let's send it to China. All uh, right. <laughs> you know what? This is uh, an example of where being an absolutist. Is, is, I think, a flawed place to come from. It's a, I don't think it's wise. Uh, obviously, David Gregory looked incredibly foolish, especially with that hair. But it, and it, was, a, it was a bad question. However, Greenwald is, is, has never done any kind of breakthrough uh, investigative journalist about our adversaries. He doesn't have to, though. That's not what he has to do. He can do whatever he wants, and he shouldn't be prosecuted or anything. But the fact is, he was published in The Guardian, the most hardcore left-wing anti-American newspaper you will ever find on this planet. So, and I think he's out of his depth now, because I don't, the more, the more that uh, uh, Snowden pals around with people who hate America, the more foolish he's going to look. Although, he's perfectly right. This guy is his source. He's writing articles. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think, the, I guess what I'm saying is, being an absolutist, on either side, you're going to lose. It's Very good. well and said. If he does come back here, he's going to be <laughs> Did I make any sense? Yes, it did. It made him. sense. You know, it really is. He can stand on moral principle and ethical ground, but he's going to be on uh, troubled legal waters if he comes back here. More to come in the five, including a surprise announcement from actor Jim Carrey. He's starring in the new movie, Kick-Ass 2, but won't promote it because he thinks it's too violent. I wonder if he's going to give back his paycheck. Mm -hmm. Well, producers say they are baffled, but Mr. Gutfeld apparently isn't confused. His thoughts? Upcoming. <laughs> Stay right there. Yes, I feel